Hey folks, and welcome to the channel. In our shop today is a 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're gonna be installing a three inch lift kit on the rear of it. We also installed a front kit as well as some upper control arms. So make sure you check out those videos as well. If you're following along at home, you'll wanna round up some metric wrenches, some metric sockets, a mallet, and a good sized pry bar. So let's get started. With the wheels off, disconnect the shocks from the axle. If you're going to reuse your shocks, you can keep the upper mounts attached, but if they're old, now is a good time to change them. Disconnect the sway bar from its end links. Now lower the axle and remove the coil springs. Remove the rubber isolator from the lower spring perch. Install the lift spacer onto the lower perch and slide the isolator on top of it. Install the spring back into the Jeep. Reattach the sway bar links and tighten their bolts to 40 foot-pounds. If you're replacing the shocks, install the upper mount and tighten its bolt to 80 foot-pounds. Attach the shocks to the axle and run those bolts down to 85 foot-pounds. So we've got the rear kit installed on the Jeep Grand Cherokee and it looks great along with the front kit and the upper control arms that we installed, so make sure you check out those videos as well. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. If this is your first time checking out our channel, please hit subscribe. As always, if you have any questions at all about any of our products, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We've been at this a very long time, so if you have a question, we'll have an answer. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.